Hey guys, today I'm going to go ahead and do a review on the uh, Swiss Army mess kit. Uh, some people will call it a, a, a Swedish Army. Um, there's other models that look very similar to this. Um, this is one of the best ones that I found. Mine is stainless steel. You can get it in an aluminum version. I opted for the stainless steel just because I thought it would be a little bit more rugged uh, and probably hold up to some abuse. Uh, the kit itself is very simple. You have an aluminum windscreen and uh, it's got the supports or stands for the pot that just fold up right like that. Uh, the hole here on the bottom is for the stove. The interior, the makeup of the kit, what I actually got when I ordered mine from eBay, mine came with the windscreen, of course, the top pot, uh, the bottom pot here. It also came with a bottle for holding your fuel and it came with uh, sort of the heart of the system which is a Transgia stove. Uh, these are in my opinion are wonderful little alcohol stoves. They're brass, they're solid, you're not going to destroy these things. Uh, this thing stamped on the bottom, uh, 1964 was when it was manufactured. I've used this several times, it's still going strong. Uh, and even if you were to destroy this, you can order these off some websites, uh, maybe $14 to $16. I think you can get a full and brand new stove, uh, and they're still making these today, as a matter of fact, brand new stove. Uh, you could get one for probably $16 US. Um, when you go to cook with it, uh, what you'll do is you'll, uh, the stove again uses denatured alcohol. You, light, you uh, take a cap off, light that, put it on and it just fits right down there. Uh, the only downside to this is when you're cooking with it, the flames uh, kind of come out and lick over here and they heat this handle up very, very hot. Uh, so you really need to have a, uh, uh, what they call a pot grabber. I got this from REI, uh, which is a, a camping supply store. Uh, for, I, I think I paid $3 for it. You could probably get something very similar to it at Walmart. Um, the only thing, the modification I would need to do to really make this effective is I need to cut a small notch here in the back uh, and that will allow me to get a better grip on this. Um, and that would be that would be my only complaint with this is if you let's say had a good uh, uh, some soup or something like that, once you've been cooking in this of course the whole the whole thing gets very hot. Sorry about that noise guys. Uh, the whole thing gets very very hot and were, were you to take it out and try to pour into another container, um, it's, it's, gonna, it's very, very awkward. It wants to slosh and move around. And if you've got the pot holder, you just click that sucker right on there. It gives you a lot of support, a lot of stability. You can pour, do whatever. Um, also, you can, what's nice about this is with the, uh, the hook, you can use it and cook over the, uh, cook over an open fire. Uh, let me, uh, off of a, uh, a branch. What some people I've even seen done is if they don't have the stove, what they'll actually do is they'll just build a small fire kind of inside here, get it lit, and uh, then just use it that way. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a really uh, neat little kit. It uh, breaks down very, very quickly. I can get all the components back in here. Uh, in pretty much no time at all. And uh, get this thing buttoned up. And I'm good to go. The only other thing would be nice is if it came with some type of a carry pouch. What I use is just an old uh, US Army I just use an old U.S. Army sustainment pouch. Uh, you can get these for four or five dollars a piece off of eBay, or you can probably find some at a uh, uh, just your uh, your local surplus shops. So, well, that's it. Uh, all in all, it's got a few little things that could be improved on. It. Um, for me, though, this thing just can't be beat. It has so many uses beyond uh, uh, what it was originally designed for and how it was to be used, but. Uh, with, just with a couple of little things, like I said, if I cut that notch in the back and with that pot holder, 
this thing just can't be beat. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Um, I think what I may do is a, a little bit later, I'll do a review actually on the little stove and I may actually uh, uh, do some stuff uh, with some boiling of water and I'll give you some of the times and things that I, that I can do on that. So anyway, get out there, get out in the outdoors, have fun, uh, stay safe, take care, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.